Let's pray together. Um, it's 8.30, it's late at night. Um, just felt um, in my heart I wanted to come on. Just offer some prayers uh, for you guys uh, before we hit the bed tonight. Um, so I wanted to read a couple scriptures and then we'll start praying. So if you're joining this live right now, please comment how I can be praying for you. And I want to offer prayer for you uh, and pray a blessing over your life tonight. Um, <coughs> sorry, I have a little cough. Uh, so don't mind if I cough a little bit. But I just want to read some scripture to prepare our hearts before we pray. Um, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love standing in the synagogues on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Isn't that encouraging that your Father actually knows uh, exactly what you need uh, even before you ask Him? Sorry, my phone's falling. <laughs> before you ask Him. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. And he says in Matthew chapter 7, preparing our hearts to pray. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will indeed give him a serpent? If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do unto others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the law and the prophets. There's many scriptures um, that talk about, <coughs> talk about praying, <coughs> where Jesus encouraged us to ask, to seek, to knock, to be persistent. To be like the widow in Luke 18 who keeps on coming continually for justice. To keep on coming continually to God to, to labor in prayer. And um, would love you guys to comment now as uh, I begin. Um, comment a prayer request. I want to offer prayer to you for, night, uh, for tonight. Um, I know I want to pray for Tracy. I see Tracy's on here. I want to pray for Tracy's health. Um, as she was in the hospital. Uh, Tracy, could you give an update in the comments how you're doing health-wise? I know you were in the hospital the other day, um, and I'd love to hear how you've been doing so I can uh, better pray for you. Okay, Carmela said, hey, I have to watch later. No more morning devotions outside this week until the cough is gone, mister. Yeah, well, I'm going to take a break on the weekends. Um, but I'm definitely teaching tomorrow morning because I, I have something on my heart I'm excited to share about uh, tomorrow on the morning meditation. So, hey, I'm not going to let the devil stop me with a cough. You know what I mean? We're going to push through. I'm going to press on. So, amen. So, if you guys could be praying for me, I've been going through some uh, lower back pain uh, lately. Um, it's just been more irritable, more irritated. No, I haven't been more irritable. I've I, I don't think I have at least. Maybe you can ask my family. Maybe I have been. But I'm saying the pain's been more. Um, just a little bit more than usual past few days. So if you could be praying for my back, that would be that would be such a blessing for me. Yeah, and pray, pray for my cough. Um, that would be great. Okay, Rose, <coughs> Rose said, pray for my daughter Krista in Florida experiencing acetites. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Acetites of unknown cause. Okay, Father, I just um, lift up Rose, Lord, as uh, her daughter Christy is experiencing some difficulty right now. 
uh, and the cause is unknown, Lord. I just pray your healing power, your strength, your might, Lord. We serve an almighty God. You're all mighty, <coughs> and Lord, you can do anything. Nothing's impossible with you. So I just pray, Lord, for your power uh, and your strength to, to, to touch uh, Christy, Lord, in Florida right now. Just send this prayer, Lord, all the way to Florida, Lord, and just meet her exactly where she is, Lord, and just reveal uh, in wisdom, Lord, uh, maybe what's causing this um, difficulty, Lord, and I just pray for Rose to have peace uh, in the midst of the storm, Lord, that we would just trust you. We pray and believe for healing, ask for a miracle, Lord, and we just um, pray your will be done, Lord, over Christy, Lord. Help her to connect closer to you through the storm as well, Lord, um, because, Lord, in our trials, we can we can trust you, we can rejoice in you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Yes, I have tried some honey. Thank you. Thank you guys for praying for my back. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, Tracy gave the update. I'm still in the hospital on IV antibiotics. They're waiting for my blood cultures to come back to see how far into my system the infection went, hoping to maybe be able to switch to oral antibiotics and go home tomorrow. Not sure, but hoping. So we'll pray for that. So Father, we just pray for Tracy right now, Lord, as she's um, still in the hospital, Lord. Just God, she, she's there, and I just pray, Lord, that, like I said in the, the meditation this morning, in Psalm 139, there's nowhere we can go that your presence is not with us, Lord. Your presence is right with Tracy in the hospital, just as much as it is when she's at home, just as much as when it is when she's at church, Lord. You're right there with her, and I know she's pressing into you. I know she's worshiping you through the storm, Lord, and I just am so thankful for her faith, Lord. She's been through so many afflictions, but she keeps on looking to you, God. <clears throat> and it's so encouraging to so many people, Lord. And I'm just so thankful for Tracy and her faith and her life and her example, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, by faith. And I just pray that she would be able to switch these oral antibiotics and go home tomorrow, Lord. We just ask that you would send her home tomorrow, Lord. By faith, we just pray that she would be able to make it out tomorrow. And tomorrow, Lord, um, Lord, you would just you would allow this to happen, Lord. Uh, we trust you no matter what, but Lord, we do ask for, for this to this situation to work out, Lord, uh, for your good and your glory, and that she could go home, Lord, uh, and just <coughs> all the medicine would work, Lord, properly, and all her body, all the functions uh, would just work uh, the way that you've designed them to, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Prayers for Shanna, Tracy, she and Jesse, Matthew, my great nephew, amen. Thank you. Yeah, we lift up Shanna, God, uh, just going through the um, the situation, Lord, with the cancer, Lord. I just pray for just healing, Lord. I just pray, Lord, for breakthrough, Lord, in this situation, Lord. We pray, <coughs> God, that you would just do what only you can do, Lord, and stretch forth your hand. As it says that, God, you have a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, and that you would stretch forth your hand upon Shanna, Lord, and just... Be with her tonight, Lord. Just be with her and just give her strength, Lord, for today, Lord. And just give her um, strength to just keep looking to you, Lord, daily. Just keeping her eyes, as it says in uh, Psalm 130. Um, somewhere in Psalm 130, it says, uh, Our eyes look to you um, like as the maid maid servants, Lord. Our eyes just keep looking to you. And I, I forget the exact passage, but I just see that, like, just the continual looking um, to to the Lord for help, Lord. Uh, Psalm 121 says, um, 127 says, uh, I lift up my eyes to the hills. 121 says, I lift up my eyes to my hills. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. And I just pray that Shannon would look to you, Lord. Her help comes from you, Lord. You would help her, Lord, greatly uh, in these next coming days, Lord, that you would just allow your grace and mercy to be upon her in Jesus' name and for healing, Lord. In Jesus' name. We pray for Matthew, John's nephew, Lord. I don't know <coughs> the situation, <coughs> but I know your word says in Matthew 6 that before we ask, you know. Before we ask, you hear. And so I just pray for Matthew, whatever he needs, Lord, that you would just give him what he needs, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Shannon. Amen. Thank you for um, your prayers for my back and my cough. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's just a blessing reading that. Thank you, Jesus. Bob <coughs> says, need resilience through this trial, brother. Okay. God, I pray for Bob for just resilience. And I just think about Isaiah 40 
Uh, we heard it all the time. Many of us have heard this verse, but I just, I just really pray the power of this verse would just become rea- real to Bob, real to me, real to all of us, that those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and they will not faint. Lord, I just pray for the renewed strength that comes only through waiting and trusting in you, Lord. We don't trust in chariots. We don't trust in in horses. We trust in the name of the Lord our God. And I just pray resilience in Jesus' name over Bob. Acidies is fluid in the abdomen. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I I wasn't aware of that. Thank you, Rose. Uh, John says, Lord, we invite you in to each of these prayers, and we ask Almighty Physician to lay healing hands upon each and every one. Amen. Thank you, John. Yes, we have a great physician. We have a great father. Prayer request for healing from pneumonia. (coughs) And that no (coughs) other issue may arise in my stomach as a result from taking two different kinds of strong antibiotics and steroids, which is a lot. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Yes, Lord, we lift up Shannon, God. Uh, I was praying for her earlier today, and I just want to pray again for her, Lord. Um, <clears throat> for healing from this pneumonia, Lord. Um, and God, I just pray a double blessing upon her, Lord, that this pneumonia, Lord, would just, uh, it would not be, I, I just think of the song by Mavericks, Ma- Maverick City. Um, what's that song called? Um, hold up, give me a second. Um, it's, I don't know, but one of the lines, it says, uh, it's, it's hello, peace, hello, joy, hello, love, hello, strength. It's a new horizon. And I just pray that song. I I forget exactly. I think it's just called Hello by Maverick City. But um, one of the lines, it says, sickness is not my story. In that line, it says, sickness is not my story. And Lord, I just pray that sickness would not, would not just be the the end of the story, Lord. Although it's part of the story, Lord, the end of the story is heaven. The end of the story is rejoicing in the trial. Lord, the sickness is not the end of the story, Lord, but the victory that we have through Christ is the end of our story, Lord. That's what our life is marked by. And so I just pray that this pneumonia would not have the end of the story, Lord. And God, even if it if it lasts longer, Lord, guess what? You're getting the glory through it. You get the glory in our suffering too. Even, Lord, if, if we're not delivered in the moment we want to be and not healed, Lord, you still get glory. When we praise you through the storm, it is so powerful. And that is the story. The story becomes praise and um, people look at you and they don't think of just the sickness of the story, but they think of your faith and the praise and the obedience and the worship that you brought through that sickness because it's in that trial, Lord, that we get to glorify you. It's an awesome opportunity. And so sickness is actually sometimes an opportunity to just praise the Lord. But we also do just ask for healing. We do just praise you, Lord, and in the midst of the storm. We pray that the, the that your victory would be the story. Uh, hello, peace. Hello, joy. Hello, strength for Shannon. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Thank you guys for praying for Tracy. Amen. Yes, we all join in Psalm 139. Praise for Elvin and his wife as she recovers uh, from surgery. Guys, let me just get a charger. I'm on 6% real quick. Let me just, uh, let me plug in. Let me abide. (laughs) If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. If you've been on the live streams. Um, Gotta stay plugged in. All right. All right, here we go. Locked and loaded, baby. All right, I think I have to hold my phone, though, while the charger's in, because it won't balance the same. Um, Father, we pray for Elvin and his wife. (coughs) We pray for Elvin, Lord, to just... Um, Take care of uh, his wife well as she is recovering from surgery, Lord, as I've been witnessing my mom recover from surgery, Lord. It gives me a new compassion for people recovering from surgery, Lord. I just, I get to see how hard it is Um, and um, just the the limitations and the the medicines and the heavy things you have to kind of take for the pain, Lord. And I just pray for Rosie, Lord, that you would um, (coughs) just bring healing and strength to her, Lord, that she would just come closer to Jesus Messiah through this, Lord. In our weakness, Lord, your power is made perfect, Lord. In in our our sufferings, Lord, uh, we have a great high priest who's not unable to sympathize with us in our weakness. Lord, (coughs) you sympathize with us, Lord. 
I pray you'd sympathize with Rosie, Lord. I pray you'd intercede for her, Lord. You're interceding already for us, Lord. We're just, we're just interceding in a small way. <laughs> what you're already doing, Lord. You're already pleading on her behalf, on Elvin's behalf. You're right there in the middle. And I pray for Elvin, Lord, that you would just give him joy and courage and, and just all the blessings of heaven, Lord, to just be upon his life tonight. Give him peaceful sleep in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> yes, Lord, we pray together for wisdom, understanding, peace, and patience. Yes, I agree in Jesus' name for all those things. Wisdom, understanding, peace, and patience upon all of our lives tonight, Lord. Sorry, I think I just got cut off. Colossians chapter 1 um, is a great prayer um, for uh, those things you just mentioned, uh, Rose. So let me just read that prayer in Colossians briefly. If I can get there. Philippians, Colossians. Here we go. Here we go. Verse 9. For this cause we also, since the day we have heard of it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord unto all, pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, unto all patience, long suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us uh, qualified to be partakers in the inheritance of the saints in light. And Lord, I just pray that prayer that Paul prayed in Colossians 1, that awesome prayer. Um, that we be filled with the knowledge of your will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord God, you are Jehovah Rapha. We are asking for healing for Shannon. Protect her stomach as she takes these strong medicines and heal her, God. Just reading Tracy's prayer. Amen. That's beautiful beautiful. We lift up the people on medication. Lord, heal Elvin's wife. Health and wellness. Fear is not my future. Yes. Yes, Troy. I want to hear you sing that one day, Troy. I want to hear you sing that, that song. Does anyone know what that song is called? It's like, hello, peace. Hello, joy. Da, da, da. It's a jam. All right. Thank you for union and prayer. Thanks, Jesse and Deb. Boom, boom, boom. Healing in Jesus' name. Boom, boom. Sorry, I'm just catching up on all these comments. Wow, you guys comment so fast. Okay, Father, I pray for Mary, Lord, that you would give her wisdom for the important decisions she needs to make tomorrow. I know, <coughs> I believe, uh, Mary, you're going to the funeral and you're going to be a witness there. And so I pray for the important decisions and the wisdom of God. In James 1, it says, If anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask, and God will give that wisdom generously if we ask in faith with no doubting, because a doubter is like a double-minded man, unstable in every single way, and won't receive anything from the Lord. So, Lord, we pray for wisdom, and we pray with it with no doubting. No doubting. No doubting. We pray it with faith, and we ask you to fill Mary with your wisdom for the important decisions she needs to make tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Bob, thank you for your prayers. I'm just reading now. Um, okay, I think I caught up. I think I caught up to all the prayers. Praise God. Um, okay, give a, maybe a couple more minutes if anyone needs any final prayers. <coughs> um, while I'm waiting, I just want to um, pray for peaceful sleep. I've been talking to a few people lately. Um, uh, not going to mention names. Um, but I've been talking to a few people lately struggling with sleep, sleep at night. Um, and I've gone through this before and I just want to pray for peaceful sleep over all of us watching, whether you're watching this now or later. And one of the verses that I really have, uh, when I went through a lot of uh, pain in my back, I had a lot of trouble sleeping a while ago, probably like a year ago. And um, one of the verses I really tried to read before bed or, or at least quote before bed uh, here's a couple verses that give us peace, um, or that gives me peace at least, and I pray this gives you peace as well. Uh, Psalm 4, it says in verse 7 and 8, Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that, they, that their corn and their wine increased, meaning 
You've put more joy in my heart, the, the Lord says, or, or David says to the Lord, than those who, when all their crops are flourishing, like when everyone else is having abundance, I don't need all that. I have, I have more joy in my heart when I have Jesus. And then he says this, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep for thou, O Lord, makest me to dwell in safety. That's Psalm 4, verse 8. Thank you, Shannon, for um, quoting it there in the chat. Psalm 23, um, verses 1 through 3. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Guys, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. I pray, Lord, that you would help your people to lie down in green pastures, Lord, that they would cast <coughs> all their anxieties on you and that they would have peaceful sleep tonight, Lord, because all their anxieties are, have already been casted into your hands. You're a good father and you take that burden off of us. And, and there's a revelation that I heard about Psalm 23. And this is powerful. Maybe this will bless you is that, you know, God calls us sheep. And something very interesting about sheep is that sheep are animals that cannot carry anything. They're not um, burden bearing animals or load bearing animals. If you try to ride a sheep, you would break the sheep. If you put, um, you know, anything on the sheep, it would break it. Like if you want to travel, you could put it on a donkey, you could put it on a camel, you could put it on a horse, but a sheep, you cannot ride a sheep. You cannot put anything on a sheep's back. Why? Because the sheep were never meant to carry things. They were never meant to carry a load. In the same way, as we are sheep, we are, the Bible calls us sheep. My sheep hear my voice. We cannot carry any load. We cannot carry anything in our own strength. That's why the Bible says, cast all anxieties onto him. Cast every burden onto him. Cast every weight off of yourself. Roman, uh, Hebrews 12 says, verse 1 and 2, because sheep are weak, they need to cast it to the shepherd. So I just want to encourage you, don't hold on to your burdens. Don't hold on to your pains. Don't hold on to anything. Just cast it onto him. First Peter 5 says, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, John, thank you for quoting that song lyrics. Let him turn it in your favor. Watch him work it for your good. He's not done with what he started. He's not done until it's good. Hello, peace. Hello, joy. Hello, love. Hello, strength. Hello, hope. It's a new horizon. Hello, peace. Hello, joy. Hello, love. Hello, strength. Hello, hope. It's a new horizon. I love that song. I don't know why. It just, it blesses me so much. It's so good. Amen, guys. All right. Well, I think I'm going to head to bed now. It's that time of year. It's that time of the day. So, love you guys. Most of all, Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. And thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you for communion with you, relationship with you. Thank you for your resurrection power. Thank this day, thank you for giving us another day to live. We don't deserve it. Thank you for giving us breath in our lungs. Thank you for um, <coughs> allowing us to pray on FaceTime. Thank you, or Facebook. Thank you for technology. Thank you for using us, Lord. Not just saving us, but using us, Lord. Thank you for all the servants of the Lord that are just living for you every day, Lord. And just being faithful where you've placed them, Lord. Lord, help us to keep on hoping in you, hoping in your kingdom, hoping in the eternal things. Lord, this life is a vapor. Help us to long for your coming. Lord, we pray, Maranatha, Lord Jesus, come. Lord Jesus, come. Lord Jesus, come. Lord Jesus, come. Rid us of our attachments to this world. Rid us from our um, fleshly, uh, attachments and unhealthy uh, habits and addictions, Lord, we throw off and we surrender before you tonight. Lord, help us to be remembering that we are but dust and we are strangers and pilgrims and our citizenship is in heaven. And from it, we await a Savior 
who will transform our lowly bodies to be like his glorious body. Thank you for your love. We can't thank you enough, Lord. Thank you for giving us another day, Lord. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We will not be anxious about tomorrow. Lord, we won't say tomorrow we'll go and do this and that and go and buy and sell and travel here and there for we don't know what tomorrow holds. Lord, we only say if the Lord wills, we'll do this and that and go here and there. We only know what we have in the moment. The future is in your hands. You're the God who has the whole world in your hands. The whole world, Lord. So we have peace through everything, Lord. We pray this all in Jesus' mighty name, the name above every name. Amen.